Hey. What's up? Ooh, it's October of 2021 and we want to show you our car camping setup for this year. Yep, and it's not fully complete. So if you're like a super hardcore car camper person, keep the judgments to a minimum because <laughs> we are adding to our lineup. This is just what we've added this year. We've never really given you a full car camping setup, but we thought, hey, why not? We'll just give you the tour of our 2021 car camping setup. Yeah, so let's go check out all the stuff we've got. All right, number one, where we sleep. Custom inflatable mattress by Luna Life. Check out that video if you're interested in learning more about it. But flannel sheets, cause it's cold. Wool sheet, flannel blanket, down comforter, and two additional blankets plus pillows because it gets cold. And we bring the extra blankets to help level out the mattress. We got a pooper room, and a nice fold flat toilet, and we got the pop-up pooper tent. It also serves as a shower tent. It's actually not ours. We borrowed it from our neighbor. Yeah, but really appreciating because we're in the mountains and it's completely flat. We've got no shade here. Nope, and the pooper room also has a pooper pocket where we have our poopy bags, our butt wipes, <laughs> and our toilet paper. Toilet paper's in there too. All right, go back to doing your business. Oh, sorry. Bye, thank you. Handy dandy camping stove that our neighbor, who also lent us the pop-up pooper, lent us for cooking. And it's two burner, which is great because I had soup going on one side and the sandwich is going on the other side and it cooks super duper fast and we haven't used a ton of propane yet. We also picked up a rooftop awning to protect us from the hot, bright sun. And now we're gonna deploy it. Welcome to our living room. This is a Yakima Slim Shady. It's six and a half feet. We also got a four footer and an eight footer. Yeah, the six is, is sufficient for the Forester. Agreed. And one of the things I do like about this is if one of us is back here, mm -hmm. we can open up the door, get inside, and not have to worry about the rain or anything else. Yeah, so it's especially useful for those situations where it's really hot to keep shade on one side of the car as well. Mm -hmm. You want to go to the next thing? Yeah, our camping chairs. Oh yeah, we got some lovely camping chairs. These are a must, especially, you know, if you have anywhere that's really scenic, like last year when we were at Twin Lakes, they were very, very useful to just sit and watch the sunset. Obviously they're a great place for you to have dinner, have breakfast, any one of your meals, or just chill. They fold up and we just toss them in the roof box when we don't need them. Mm-hmm. This is a Thule Force medium size roof box. And we got the medium because it would fit three snowboards across and you put two more on top. We also store all of our camping gear right up here. And it's been with us cross country multiple times. From Colorado to Virginia to North Carolina, it's been all over the place. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's really convenient to get up there is this Bouge RV door stepper. It's universal, works with any car, and it unscrew at the bottom. It clips right into your door latch here. You screw it down, and in less than like 20 seconds, you get a nice step. You get up there and access everything inside your roof box. I like using the front door because it's a little bit, it's not nearly as tall. And if you want to watch that video, find the link at the top, and we'll tell you all about the stepper. Yeah, it's amazing. One of the things that we bought for the last one was this bear keg, which we're currently using as a trash can, and it's cool because got these three little screws and you pop it and it stores all your food in there. And another thing that we bring with us always is a tarp and we have this little lightweight tarp that we bought in Breckenridge that is great for a picnic or for putting your stuff on top so it doesn't get all dirty and muddy. One of the big concerns is how do you power all your devices when you're out here off the grid? And so Anna and I picked up a inverter for the car. This is a 300 watt inverter 
It has two AC plugs that you can plug in. It's like a laptop or plug in like a bunch of batteries. And it's got two USB ports on the side. And so this is really helpful because we can plug in two devices and then I've got a five port USB charging brick that can plug in all of our other devices into it. Eventually when it, we do want to get a battery solution that's solar powered, but this is sufficient for road tripping right now. Exactly, and then we also have got a couple of these 13,000 milliamp battery packs. So when we are mobile, like if we're hiking or for just like here tonight, we don't run the car, we can use these also to charge up our devices. We hope that you've enjoyed the tour of our car camping setup. If there's anything specific that you like to use during car camping, let us know. Our, as we mentioned before, our setup is not complete, but this is our 2021 car camping setup. We're gonna go into Utah in April, March time frame? March, for Mar your birthday. Oh yeah, for my birthday. So we're already making a list of things we wanna add for that. So we'll be making a 2022 video in, a, I guess, in next year. Exactly, and if there's anything from this list that you found appealing, check out our car camping kit below. We have several of them of all of our gear. And they go to Amazon, no Amazon affiliate links for all of them. We feel like we should mention that at least. And that's a way to help support our channel and help bring you, continue bringing you adventures. Yeah, so if you use those links, that would be super helpful because we get a little commission. You don't get charged more, but a little bit of your sale goes towards us and that helps to keep this channel going. Exactly, and it's not, even if you're not interested in buying a camera or buying like an awning or something like that, if you're gonna buy like toilet paper, buy toothbrushes or anything, food, food click on that first and you'll still get a little bit of commission from it. So that'd be really appreciative for us. Thank you so much. Yay, and uh, please hit that subscribe button, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.